Hey guys, it's Andy and Jenny from... Jenny? <laughs> Who's Jenny? <laughs> and take two. Hey guys, it's Andy and Jenna from A Couple Travelers. We're back today with a night at Disney Springs for you. Yes, we are gonna have dinner at the Boathouse. Yes. Which we are so excited about. You know, the sun is setting, it's bright on the water, seafood, ambiance. Really excited to try it. Yeah, so let's take you along for a night at Disney Springs. We actually have a nine o'clock dinner uh, reservation here at the boathouse, so it's about eight ten now. We're already hungry. It's been a long day, so Jenna just went inside to see if they could actually take us earlier. So we'll see if that's actually a thing. But to actually get to boathouse tonight, we got a lift from the beach club to the west side bus loop and walked all the way in past Cirque du Soleil, past House of Blues, past uh, City Works, and hadn't been over there before. And one of the things that we actually uh, walked into to see, since we're with, with my family, is the Edison, which used to be the Adventurers Club. Now, growing up, we always would go to the Adventurers Club. It was such a cool feat of imagineering and storytelling here at what was uh, previously Pleasure Island. So we got to go inside and kind of see uh, what it used to be the Adventurers Club. Had a nice little, you know, moment, if you will, but uh, God, I miss the Adventurers Club. It was so much fun. We're just kind of hanging out here, seeing uh, what we could do with the um, with the time that we uh, have here before dinner. It's packed. It's a Saturday night, so Disney Springs. People are out and about, so let's go have a fun night. Have you ever seen it this busy? No, I don't think I... I right? Even before the pandemic, I don't... But we always came in off... Like, we never came in the summer. It was always off seasons, yeah. and we tend to come during the week and not... Right. Well, we did come a Saturday night before. What was that, 2016 or 2017? Yeah. yeah. And I don't think it ever was no. this busy. So it pays to ask if you could be seated early because not even 10 minutes later, 8.20 for a 9 o'clock reservation, our table's ready at the boathouse. So we're going to head inside now and we'll give you a little bit of a dining review at the boathouse at Disney Springs. like oh that's like really hard to get <laughs> oh my god thank you of course here are some minis to sort us out today excuse my reach we have water and bread on the way over for you folks and your server will be over shortly okay that just made my night yes fine oh that's awesome that's awesome yes Good. Good Moscow meal. Fresh. So fresh. Also, look at this drink. It's the Duck Duck Raz and it comes with a little rubber ducky. I would have gotten the Duck Duck Raz myself, but I don't like blue curacao, which is one of the ingredients that makes it blue. But I'm glad Diana got to get it because I wanted to see what it looks like. Because, I mean, that is a very popular drink here. That's like the drink to get, but so cute. Rolls and honey butter. Oh, that butter is delicious. Right? Oh my god. Also, they have dueling pianos. And it is awesome. The, the, I love the atmosphere in here. And I can't believe we're sitting in the boat. <laughs> that was pure chance. Like, pure chance. It's on so Oh my god. 
Oh my god, that's amazing. Oh, that's really good. So these are the filet mignon sliders. Two sliders with fries. It's a sandwich entree, but we got it as an appetizer. Cooked medium. They have this like herb butter sauce on it. It's delicious. You gotta try this. You. Andy, not you. Andy. It's so good. It's so good. It like, the herb butter helps it, but it like doesn't even need it because the meat is just that flavorful. Like Jenna said, get this. that if you wear a captain's hat to brunch that you get a free mimosa. We don't have time to test that theory, but. So you're saying we gotta come back for We brunch. definitely need to come back for brunch. With the dueling pianos, the dueling pianos are there at lunch. And I mean, when you add like bottomless mimosas to that, like that's a fun day for sure. Boathouse. Boathouse. Get wow. to Boathouse. I mean, like we knew it was like good. We knew it was good, yeah. but. I mean, the dueling pianos made that place. It's a huge restaurant, too. And I too. don't know if it, they played earlier. Like, we no. sat around, like, 8.20. I want to say, like, and I 8 think 30. they were starting around there. Yeah. So, I mean, that atmosphere was... So we didn't record that much because, A, we'd get copyrighted, and, B, just because we were having so much fun. We were, like, singing along. We were enjoying being with Andy's family. Uh, but... That is like, I think that's a must do at Disney Springs for sure. If you could get a reservation, if like, you can get a reservation. Don't count on a walk yeah. but. And I said earlier, they also have brunch with the dueling pianos that, like, I want to come back for that 100%. Yeah. Yeah. But um, just wanted to quickly go over what we got um, to drink. I had a Moscow Mule. It was $13. Really refreshing, straightforward. Had the. Boathouse branded uh, copper mug, which was really fun. And, and I had the Boathouse Lager, which is their, you know, house brewed uh, beer for eight fifty. It was also really good. Yeah, and then we got the filet mignon sliders that had that awesome butter. It came with fries. So that good. actually is an entree, but we shared that as an appetizer just because we we heard that they were really good and decided to give it a try. That was only fourteen dollars for the two sliders and the fries. Steal. That is a steal for sure. For my entree, I had the grilled fresh mahi, no I didn't, I had the grilled mahi tacos for dinner, yeah, <laughs> that's what it was. Um, the fish was incredibly fresh. Um, that was $22, I think it was a steal, it was three tacos. The corn tortillas were 100% homemade, you could definitely tell, but all the ingredients were really fresh on it, and I would go back for that. Yeah. 100%. And I had the Caesar salad uh, with grilled chicken. So eight dollars for the salad, four dollars for the uh, chicken. Again, that's really that's very reasonably priced. Yeah, as well. and it's not like an entree um, size. And um, I kind of realized that after I ordered it, but like not a big deal because I also had like four of those rolls, the, which are oh so my good. God. And at brunch, it's the exact same rolls, but oh then man. there's like cinnamon dressing on it. So we so got to like, get back. We got to get back to that. Yeah. But, um, then like uh, Andy's dad had like lobster bisque and then he had um, like tuna for dinner and his mom got filet mignon. Filet mignon. Um, Diana had the filet sliders as her meal and Caroline got and a, a pasta. pesto pasta dish. Yeah. But everyone really liked their food. The drinks were super fun. Great server. And great server. He was, uh, do you remember his name? I don't. Oh crap. But yeah, he was awesome. I, I bet your mom will remember so maybe we can ask him put the name here. But um it was about $300 with a very good tip. 
um, for six adults to eat there. With drinks, with entrees, with, with drinks, some appetizers. Yep, so exactly. So about fifty bucks a person. So not bad for a nice meal at, yeah. at uh, Disney Springs. One hundred percent. So with that, we're going to head to Time World to of Disney. Let's go. Oh, there we go. Cat, the new Captain America. Which is the Captain America that's going to be at Disneyland is going to be Sam's Captain America. Yeah. From, spoiler alert, Captain uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier. Well, we were talking about last time how they didn't have any of this merch here, and now they finally do. Yes, but I still don't see any, like, WandaVision stuff. They're moving on now, and now they're getting ready for Loki, because... Oh, do you see it? Oh, what? Loki ears. Oh, look at... Oh, yeah, I saw these online. Loki. Very nice. Yeah, that actually comes out in what? I'd rather three, be Thor than Loki. Four days. June 9th, it'll be out while we're here. Yes. On Wednesday. Is this the thing that you buy for web slingers? Uh, I think it is. Oh wait, no, no, no. It's like the toy version? Yeah, it, it shoots like actual webs. Tiki room bag where the second I decide I want to buy it, it's no longer in the store. Yep. All right, that's our uh, night at Disney Springs. Just got out of World of Disney. They it's so crowded at 10:30 at night. Oh yeah, people still buying beers and the whole thing. Oh yeah. I just got Mickey my Mickey ice cream sandwich, so I'm happy. Uh, they didn't have Jenna's ears though. Oh my gosh, <clears throat> you guys, I've been. Do not make my mistake when you come here. The last two times we came. I saw something I liked, but I was like, I don't know if I, I don't know. Like, I just couldn't make my mind. Yeah. And both times, I then went online to go order something, completely out. I had to pay extra to buy it off eBay. And then the ears I saw last time, which were brand new, nowhere to be found. Yeah. In And this was, this was six weeks ago. Six weeks ago, we came yeah. back completely gone. I'm hoping maybe they'll have them at Magic Kingdom when we go back. I'll keep an eye out. I want those aerial ears. Just wasn't meant to be tonight, I guess. No, it was, it was still a good night though. Had a oh, had a for sure, for sure. Had a great meal at uh, Boat Boathouse. House. Got to walk around. Got some ice cream. But I think that is going to be it for uh, for today's video, guys. Uh, we are going to Epcot tomorrow, so that'll be the next video up that you see. We're super excited for that. But uh, be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and follow us on social media at a couple travelers. And until next time, keep traveling.